you don't notice. You don't see it on a regular basis. It's invisible to the eye. However, if the temperature, the heat from people, from the atmosphere, begins to rise, you come to a place where the water vapor is so filled with water, it can no longer contain it, and it oozes out. You see this drop on the edge of this plant here. And dew is like a blanket. It covers everything in unity. It's, it's this. Listen. If we were to experience anointed worship services, they aren't necessarily emotional. They aren't necessarily everybody dancing around the room. They aren't necessarily something external. But something happens in the atmosphere and where two or three are gathered together in true harmony and brokenness, letting their bark be scraped on the inside and the out, coming before God with hearts broken before him, saying, oh God, give us souls lest we die. Oh God, give your, your kingdom come forth. I'm not, care, I'm not criticizing my brother, my sister. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh God, holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lord, you are the only audience I seek to please. You're the only one that matters. Oh, God. The atmosphere cannot contain the water anymore. And it begins to rain. And a fog of the glory of God fills the place like it did in the Old Testament. Nobody could stand to minister. All of a sudden, the invisible atmosphere that you don't notice it rains. Amen? Ponder that thought. Go ahead, Russell. Lead us into this time that we're going to. We're going to be taking our offering fairly soon. The ushers will get ready for that. They can come right up right now, but we're not coming forward yet. I want you to just ponder as the children come in. Listen as Russell plays. Holy, holy, holy.
Lord, we pray that you'd send us into the harvest field, Lord. Lord, we know that your anointing is going to lead us to witness your truth to those who don't know it. So, God, we just pray, Lord, that you'd send us as missionaries. And, God, we pray that we'd hear that still, small voice. We'd sense the dew about to drop. We'd sense the things that you want to do, Lord, when we're with people going about what we think is our business but really is your business. So, God, we thank you for that. And we thank you, Lord, that you are increasingly not only anointing our worship, but we most importantly cry that you'd anoint our lives. But, Lord, help us to embrace the brokenness, embrace the difficulties of the cross, that we might embrace those times when you are moving deeply on us and we would tend to react so, God, we thank you. Thank you Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you.